So, you understand the basics of materials, but you want to take it to the next level. Not a problem. Now, real quick, in the real world, most of this is going to be automatic, and you're just going to drag smart materials and change the values a little bit. But for those of you who really want to get into the nitty-gritty details of how all this works, this is what this video is for. Now, at this point, you probably already know that every material is made up of some combination of these five attributes. And yes, you can control them with the sliders like this, but you can also control these sliders with images. For example, if we just click on the roughness and type in grunge, we'll find a bunch of grunge texture maps that we can apply. And now we'll get a much more natural looking roughness instead. You can also just drag a texture from the library shelf over here if you want, but clicking directly over here is usually a bit easier. Now if you ever want to see the pure effect of one of your values, you can go up here and pick what you want to see. So if we click on that, this is what the image really looks like behind the scenes when it's applied to roughness. Now when you're using textures to control the values like this, it defaults to using your UVs as coordinates. And while you're in UV mode, to scale both sides at the same same time just grab a corner, to scale one side at a time grab the walls, to move the image click inside the box, and to rotate grab the outside of the box. If you grab the middle you can change the pivot point of the rotation, and as usual if you hold shift you'll be able to snap the rotation wherever you want. But the problem with UVs is sometimes you get really weird looking seams. So what a lot of people like to do is to change it from UV to triplanar, and the seams should be super smooth and will be applied uniformly. You can change the scale of the detail over here, or change its rotation over here. There are also other settings you can mess with like offset, balance, contrast, and pattern, but essentially that's how you use images to control these values. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.